we had returned from our visit. We had returned from our visit and we were in Kiev. And so when it came, we had a general meeting to discuss with the uh, pre uh, presiding elders to start coordinating the members because we didn't know how it was going. But the rate at which the news was traveling, we needed to start mobilizing the people. By God's grace, we, we IMD contacted us even before the, the, the invasion, and he was always in contact to plan how we'll be able to deal with the situation. And then when it came, he quickly picked up on us, and then we discussed uh, how we are going to move the people. We realized that some of the countries, uh, sorry, some of the cities were safe, especially the western part. So we decided to move the members from the eastern part, which was in the danger zone, Kiev and Kharkov and uh, other big, big cities, to move them to the safe cities. So during the process, we realized nowhere was safe for now, unless those are the borders of um, EU, where we know that one, Russians cannot attack those uh, borders now. So we decided to evacuate them from the country. Uh, by God's grace, on the Friday, which is last week Friday, myself and Obasia with some of the members, we set off from Kyiv looking at how the situation was going. Uh, and we realized we could not coordinate the activity and the evacuation from Kiev. So we started coming. So by God's grace, Chairman contacted us and we told him the whole situation. And he spoke to us, IMD was in the whole situation with us. And then we traveled a journey which was about, which was supposed to be nine hours. We had to drive 30 hours to that destination. And so the whole people in the Kiev city, they were all moving for safety. And so traffic and other checkpoints delayed us. But by God's grace, we got there and we started coordinating all the presiding elders to have their members ready and start moving. So God opened the borders of Romania, um, Slovakia, and then Hungary and uh, Poland. So we decided that those closer to those borders should quickly move out. And they coordinated most of, of the members together with non-members who were moving all of them. So some of our members have got into Romania, Poland, Hungary, and then Slovakia. By God's grace, we also uh, spoke with IMD, who, who is also coordinating the national heads in those places to be able to accommodate them and help them out. And as at now, every member who has moved by the grace of God is safe in where they are. With the exception of one or two people, we are still tracing their whereabouts. And we, 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 we want to thank God so much for that. Currently, the challenge we have now is one city. One city, it was two cities that was locked down. There wasn't any transportation in or out. And uh, it was advised for them to stay inwards. So we were praying and then we are asking God to pave the way. Yesterday night, by God's grace, 12 people who were stuck in one of the cities set their journey to where we are now. And they, are, they informed us they are out of the danger zone and they are in a city where they have to travel about four hours to where we are and then lead them out of the country. The other city that we have about 48 members there who have not had the chance to travel out. We have, by God's grace, been able to coordinate with a driver yesterday night who will move from one city and drive uh, about five hours or five to six hours and go and pick them and then move them out of the city. So as we are speaking now, we are still in touch with him and uh, we, 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 we hear that he's having some challenges on the way, but he's still on the way going. So currently, if those people are able to move out, then by God's grace, we can say almost all the members are out of the nation. And we, we, we are still 
uh, coordinating with the presiding elders to check every member per head and let us know who is not out of the nation and then we will work on it quickly so that we will also uh, know what to do afterwards. So as at now, we have only one challenge of moving one city, uh, the membership of about 48 and above to at the, the safety place or to the other country. And we are praying that God will lead us to that. He has already started that journey. So we trust God, he is going to send them out. Yeah, and we also, we also had a call from GS monitoring us and uh, where things have gotten to. And we want to, we want to take the opportunity to thank our daddy so much. They have held us in their hands in every aspect of the situation. And we have been encouraged and empowered to stand firm, to do what we are doing. And we really want to bless and thank them. Currently um, with Slovakia, with Slovakia, we realized that we, at that time, there wasn't, when the, the, the borders were, were was open, there wasn't anybody there to coordinate them. So we spoke with IMD who also advised us and we have sent our overseer, one overseer, we have three here, overseer Nati, overseer Frank, who is Nigerian. So we have sent him there to uh, go and then help with the people who channel through that border and then get them to a safe place. And by God's grace, uh, uh, IMD has also coordinated Czech Republic to help. And for that matter, that place too, we don't have anybody stranded over there. So everything by God's grace is going on smoothly. And we are seeing the mighty hand of God in every step that we take. Amen. Please. Um, with the permission of the chairman, if anybody want to speak to our missionary or ask any question, um, the floor is open, please. Missionary, please, board members are given the opportunity to interact with you. So yes, please. Um, just hear from our fathers. Yes, please. Yeah, thank you very much, Prince. God bless you for thank the you. good work you are doing. In fact, Amen. what you are doing has caught fire in Ghana. It's everywhere, and we want to bless God for your life. But Amen. when you were doing the making the presentation, you kept saying our members. What about the other Ghanaians, other Africans? Can you tell us something about what is happening to them and how they are being coordinated to be evacuated? Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, that is by God's grace. The 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 members um, in Ukraine we have the higher percentage being other nationals. And so the Ghanaian membership is even lower than the other nationals. And so with this, in every equation that we are, we are making, um, though I keep on with the, the word membership, we pick anybody who joins our, our people. And so um, we have, yesterday we even had some people that uh, they were so grateful that they, they didn't know us. We didn't even know them. We just met them at the uh, train station stranded and we need to add them to our members and then move them out. So we are taking care of anybody who um, is available to, 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 to get them out. So that we are working on that one too. Thank you, Prince. My last for now. What is yes, the relationship uh, between you and uh, the government reps? in the other countries. How is the government coming in through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs want to get that picture too? Is there a collaboration or you are doing yours and they're also doing this or there's a point you meet to coordinate? Yes, please. As of now, we have been doing uh, ours on our own. Okay. The government initially, um, I asked overseer to contact if there's anything that the government can do, especially when they get out of the city or during the, the, the transit in the borders. And uh, if, uh, if I'll be permitted uh, and ask him to speak on that, what they wrote to him, uh, I, I don't know. All right. Yes, please. Thank you, Apostle Chair. Uh, with 
that's adding to my national head. Uh, he asked me to do those calls. I made a couple of calls to Switzerland, Ghana embassy there, and also to Foreign Affairs Ghana. And then they demanded a letter. The Minister of Foreign Affairs Ghana, the director I spoke to, demanded that unless the universities that we <coughs> that has those Ghanaian students give letter, official letter to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, that is when they can release a letter to the borders of Slovakia, uh, Hungary, and then uh, Romania and Poland for the free exit or free transit of our people. So we ended it there. And by God's grace, after that day, we heard that those countries automatically opened their borders for all uh, people or remnants in Ukraine to be able to move out. So that one came before later, we heard that the Minister of Foreign Affairs had sent the letter. So the letter came, but as at the time the letter came, the doors had been opened and the people have started moving out already. And also, Daddy, to add to it, um, we, we also had a lot of, uh, we saw some press release and some information that was going on. Uh, some of them even called on us uh, from some FM stations and televisions to, to, to hear from us. Uh, but we told them for now, uh, we are not speaking to any uh, station or any radio station. And uh, for that matter, if they need anything, they have the people they can contact. For us, we wanted not to come in because the way the, the things were escalating in Ghana, we didn't want to go there at all. Yeah. And, uh, but by God's grace, what we are able to do, we, 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 we wanted to just pursue it and then get the people out of here safely. Uh, thank you. Yeah, uh, Dr. Santi, uh, or Safu. Daddy. We there are some video making runs that there's discrimination against blacks at the borders. Is it true? Let me, um, two of the borders so far we heard of it. Um, yesterday at the border of Slovakia, um, our people who go there sat there about three hours where they were just moving the whites out, the, the Ukrainians out. So when they called us, they were really stranded over there. Um, but by God's grace, at the end, they were able to go through. We also heard previously at Poland, such things were happening there. Um, but as at now, nobody uh, has gotten there and uh, maybe has been sent back. So even though it is going on that they are uh, making uh, choices or their priority to, to some of the people, the whites, at the end of the day, are, people are also able to go through. So where are you now? Are you still in Ukraine? Yes, please. Yes, please. Currently, we are in one city closer to the borders of Slovakia and Hungary. And um, we want to do all the evacuation and then uh, by the permit from uh, IMD, we'll know where to also uh, move to. So currently, how many people are with you in where you are, at where you are? At where I am now, the moment they come, we move them to the borders because the, the, the poor people are rushing there. So if you get in, we don't waste time for you to uh, go and be in a long queue because you'll definitely be in a long queue. So we had to move them. Anytime we meet them at the station, we direct them straight to the borders to start their process out. So currently myself and overseer, we are here. The city that we came in, we have an assembly here, thinking that we were coming to join with the members and we do the evacuation. 
And the moment they welcomed us and found a place for us, Pastor, we want to go. We said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so they all left us and uh, we, we, we are here alone, but they have given us some of the students. We have their place um, now living here to do all that we are doing. So we are here alone uh, with God. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, please, Pastor. Um, I hope you are in contact with the members in the various nations where they have crossed uh, the borders to. How are they faring, please? Yes, please. Um, for now, by God's grace, we have been coordinating with the national heads and the um, representatives of the church at the borders. And we get to uh, move with the members to that point and also speak with them to have a safe place. So we have been speaking with them when they get there, especially with the leadership, the presiding elders, and um, also with the national heads over there. And uh, by God's grace, we've had nothing um, so far challenging or being given them maybe for them to be stranded. So we believe that they are also going on well. And um, some of the students that their parents call us with their pictures saying they've not heard of them. Um, some of them to IMD just send us their names and picture. We follow them and we realize that because of the movement, others get to some place and they are stuck with their phones off. So they need to be calm. Uh, we believe that for those we have traced by God's grace, we've seen that every one of them uh, have gotten to a, a safety place and are being taken care of. So we have not heard so far of anybody stranded at any place, except with students. Some of them want uh, uh, things that in this time you cannot get. Some people think that the church is offering um, tickets to go home and other things, and they are they are they are giving pressure to uh, our coordinators over there. But we have sorted all those things out. Yeah, so, are you managing? Uh, of course, we are not able to give them tickets to go to their various nations. Uh, mm -hmm. But what about maybe some pocket money for those in need? Do you? Are you able to do that or you think that we can come in and help again? Uh, the IMD, the missions office um, gave some money. Yes, please. Yes, so what is the challenge now if we have to come in and do some more? Yes, please. Um, for now, IMD uh, sent us some money for the equation, uh, evacuation and also to sort out with the people and uh, we are still managing it. We have still some uh, in our coffers doing that. But um, with those outside, and we have already told the presiding elders, anybody who needs financial assistance, and for that matter, will not want to leave because of financial assistance, should let us know. And so some of the few people uh, individually, we have uh, also helped them and giving them some financial support to be able to move out. And also because our leaders at the border are also helping them out, when they get there, we, we, we know that they are able to accommodate them and also provide food and some basic necessities for them. So uh, IMD said they will be sending uh, money to those quarters also to help the people there. So, Daddy, I believe by now, uh, those people are also helping them. And financially, uh, we are okay here. Thank you very much, Apostle Chair. I want to ask two questions. One yes. is, your safety. We know that now that we are seeing you, you are fine. Is there access to food and water? Because we, we, we've come to know that some, in some places, all shops are closed. No commercial activity is going on. How are you taking care of yourself 
And is there anything else that we can do beyond what has been already done to help you? Thank you, Chair. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Uh, Daddy, I think for us now, in the city that we, 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 we are um, based in now, by God's grace, the city, there's no any problem in the city. Uh, life is going on and everybody, all shops are open. So as for food and that uh, basic necessities, we have them at our disposal. So by God's grace, we are okay with that. And also because um, it is at the border to an EU country, we are not expecting any invasion in this city now. And so uh, we found out that here is a very safe place to be for now until we are done with whatever we are doing. So currently, um, we, we, everything is moving on. IMD is taking care of everything for now that we need. And I think if anything comes uh, that we might need any support, uh, we will channel it to him and then uh, we'll move on. Thank you. Okay, please. We want to pray. Um, okay, you director, yes. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Prince. I wanted to ask about, uh, I mean, these people in the countries, Slovakia and the other countries, what is the plan? Are they wanting to come to Ghana? What can be done to help them? Is there, do you know of any effort of maybe their parents trying to help them plane ticket, the plane ticket issue you mentioned? Eventually, how, what's the next plan? Thank you so much, um, Director. I think uh, there's two main um, issues with the students. Some of them don't want to go back to their country. In the first place, not knowing what will happen next. Um, some of them, especially with those who are in the final years, they didn't even want to move out of the nation. We had to um, reason with them and ask them to move because school is not in session anymore. So most of them, when they cross the borders, some of the countries gave about 96 days, some 24 days. Initially, we heard of even three days, which uh, later we realized they didn't really check it well. It was rather three months. So with these days, uh, I've heard, which I have not confirmed, that the government is, uh, sending some tickets to some of the people to move back to Ghana. But most of the people want to stay over there until they see what is next happening in Ukraine, whether to return to Ukraine or the next action. But as at now, I don't know with those who want to go back to Ghana and uh, uh, they are in need of tickets. So uh, we will coordinate with the those at the the, the national heads to know, and they will be able to specifically say that these particular people are in need of finances to get back to their nations. So uh, we will we'll work on it. Brothers, fathers, chairman has granted that we pray. Hello, just a minute. Uh, Dr. Prince, just some updates also from Ghana. What is happening now that uh, yes, the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs released a letter, if they are going to go by it, then as we speak, they are meeting all parents whose students are in Ukraine right now, 10 a.m. at uh, the Accra International Conference Center to see how they can reason out with them, those who want to come home, so that they work on that. And also they've sent a release Caption that uh, even today, yesterday, some boarded a plane, Qatar Airlines, and about 16 Ghanaians will land today. They've brought their names and their passport numbers. That's why I wanted to know the collaboration. So the government is doing their bit. So okay. we we'll all have to monitor so that we know which area the government is covering so that we don't overstretch you. Yes. But we'll be monitoring and update you. Once this meeting is finished, 
at the government end this afternoon. We'll update you so that I know what yeah. they are also doing so that I can help our people. Thank you very much. Yes, please. Thank you so much. So, National Head, um, yes, our father yeah. wants to pray for you. Um, he has designated yes. Apostle Osman Zabri to pray for you. Yes. Please, if we. Yes, please. Um, and uh, on behalf Daddy, of the with our board, people in Sumi. Okay. On behalf yeah. of the missions board, we wanted to express now. our sincerest gratitude mm -hmm. to God and, uh, and then you and then the two overseers, um, the presiding elders, other officers. Really, you have stood in and we are so proud of you. We thank God for your lives mm -hmm. and we'll continue to monitor um, day, afternoon, night um, to see how you are faring. Um, as you are also aware, we have contacted your families in Holland and then in Ghana. I spoke with your wife, yes, Vazianate. I've also spoken with your wife. And um, we will see what we can do to visit them also, to make them feel comfortable mm -hmm. so that you concentrate on the work over there. So um, chairman and the board says, may the Lord continue to bless and keep you. Amen. Amen. Please, Amen. if we can be on our feet as a person. Can we be upstanding? Our God, our maker, as we come before the throne of grace, this morning we lift up Ukraine to the mighty one who created the heavens and the universe. You the same yesterday, today, you will remain forever our God, our shield, our divine protector, and our savior. For this we pray with assurance yes, for your people. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we Amen. stand on behalf of Ukraine, you are the only one who can order the ceasefire. Jesus. You are the only one who can stop this war. You are the only one who can say a single word and all things will be obedient to your voice. In your mercies, remember Ukraine. Jesus. By the power of your grace, come to the rescue of this nation. Jesus. Lord, trusting in your infinite love and mm. living now in Jesus. the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray for our people. Protect them. Continue to protect their lives. You are Jesus. their security. In the name Jesus. of Jesus Christ, continue to protect them. Continue Jesus. to save them. In the name Jesus. of Jesus. Amen. Lord, if you do so, your only name will be glorified. Yes. As the people are standing in lands that are foreign lands to them, not knowing what tomorrow will be. Lord, Jesus. we pray in the name of Jesus that you provide yes. to all their needs Jesus. so that your name will be forever glorified. We know yes. not only this time, but even as they are running, especially the students, not knowing what future will reserve for them. We pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus that, Lord, all seemingly closed doors will be open to them so that, Lord, they will continue in life to the glory of your name. We pray, Lord, for the parents, people having their relatives in this country not knowing where they are whereabouts. We pray for emotional stability and blessed Jesus. assurance to know that the Lord is in control and your name will be forever glorified. Jesus. Lord, your servant who tirelessly works to see that the people are in safety, we pray your good hand upon them, your continuous Jesus. blessings, provisions, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Jesus. cause them to be in good health so that whenever we hear from them, then very soon we trust in the Lord's capacity to bring everything to the end, to the glory of your name. Father, we bless you. We thank you for even doing beyond what we have asked you 
because of your perfect love for your people. May the Lord be with you and continue to protect you and save you so that in the nearest future, you will declare the goodness of the Lord in the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. Pastor Dr. Asante of Asianate, we shall speak with you again. God bless yes, you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you so much.